Skincare manufacturers produce thousands of products that they promise will bring moisture to your skin and skincare channels like mine will talk about how some think can make your skin feel plump and hydrated. But how can you really tell if your skin is hydrated? Well, you can use something like this. Today I'm reviewing the SK4 Digital Moisture Monitor from Wikayu, which I pay for myself since so it isn't a sponsored video. Bizarrely, I can't recall ever having seen a skincare content creator use a device like this when reviewing products, but I'm sure somebody must have. I bought this from Amazon for £18 a few months ago. I'll leave a link in the description below. Opening the good quality box, you'll find the slim black and white unit with battery supplied ready to be installed. The slim unit is labelled with a poor attempt at English translation. It says health and beautiful when it should really say either healthy and beautiful or health and beauty. I know it's only a small thing, but strangely it annoys me whenever I use it. The shape of the unit is, well, just let's say I wouldn't leave it lying around in the bedroom, if you get my meaning. It has an LED display and an on-off button and a button to take the reading. The secure fitting cap when removed reveals a very small piezoelectric sensor. This works in an identical way but scaled down to the body fat scales that you can buy for home or that are sometimes available in gyms. With those scales a tiny electrical signal is transmitted through one foot, up the leg, down the other leg and read by the sensor under the other foot. The resistance the current experienced while travelling through the body is then translated into an approximation of certain percentages dependent on the scale including water, fat and an attempt at muscle mass. It does come with a very basic and again poorly translated instruction sheet. The unit only has two buttons, so it's not rocket science to figure out how to use it for yourself. You turn it on, put it against your skin, press the test button, wait a few seconds for the beep, and you get a number as a percentage. Simple. Although not quite, it does in fact give two numbers that alternate. This is not mentioned on the instruction sheet. So a quick look on the internet found some reviews stating that the unit's useless. It gives you a moisture range that is too wide to be useful. Actually, this is completely incorrect. I figured out that the first and lower percentage is the water content. The second is a fat content. I've not found the fat content particularly useful, but that's fine because I just bought this for checking hydration anyway. Using it is very easy. Press the on button, display will light up and go to zero. Then press the sensor lightly onto the skin, barely more than resting it on the surface. Press the button, Within a couple of seconds, it will beep and say it's complete. Do you not get any tingling sensation when the minuscule electronic current is actually used? The display is clear and very easy to read, alternating between water percentage and fat percentage. When finished and you've switched off, it's very important that you gently wipe over the sensor with a cotton bud or a piece of kitchen towel and some surgical spirit, more accurately referred to as isopropyl alcohol, which can be bought from most chemists for a few pounds. What isn't included with this unit, which I think a lot of buyers might expect, is a graph or other indication of what represents a healthy hydration amount, or perhaps the percentage that indicates your skin is dry, normal or oily. As a very rough guide, readings under 30% suggest that the area is very underhydrated. 31 to 40 is somewhat dry in need of attention. Ideally, you want to be looking for something around 50%, but do keep in mind that factors such as your age, diet, and general health can all influence your skin's health. So don't waste money continually trying to chase that elusive 50% if you know there are other factors in play. And of course, best way to hydrate your skin is from the inside by drinking plenty of water throughout the day. What are my thoughts on the SK4? I found it very useful. Having worked around my face and neck to find areas of particular dryness, I've used it to compare moisturisers, serums, tested toners and essences. I've used it to see if my skin hydration has improved or been reduced over time when I'm trialling different skincare routines, for example. I like it, but as I review products every week and I'm somewhat obsessive about how I look after my skin, I probably use it way more than most people would ever want or need to. Is it accurate? Probably not. We're talking about something that costs under £20 and you can't compare the accuracy of this to even the semi-professional units that therapists may use which can cost closer to £1,000. But what it can do is give you an idea of where your skin is now, the areas that may need more intense hydration and a way to monitor progress when you change your skincare or routine. I'm pleased I bought it and I enjoy using it. 
but I don't use it as an absolute decider of what products I use. Skin care is subjective, and even if the readings don't always agree, there will be products that you feel improve the look and feel of your skin. This monitor can give you numerical data. I can give you recommendations, but at the end of the day it's your skin, and you need to find what makes you look and feel the best version of you. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, comment and share. Follow me on Instagram at Men's Grooming Advice and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so for new skincare and grooming videos every single week. I've been Bear Clark, you've been amazing and I'll see you again real soon.